I would like to start my video today with a quote from Byron Katie. She mentioned in one of her interviews and also in her books that when I believe my thoughts, I suffer. When I don't believe my thoughts, I stop suffering. This is especially true for some of you who have a fantasy life in your mind. In your mind, you are living a completely different life, a perfect life like how you want it to be in reality. In your fantasy life, you are this beautiful or handsome person, married to the perfect spouse, wealthy, have a perfect job or business, you make money easily, you are talented, you are the best in everything, you can do anything that you cannot do in real life, in this fantasy life of yours. You have everything that you cannot have in your real life in this fantasy life of yours. Although this fantasy life that we live and act on in our head may seem harmless, it is actually a form of escape. Because slowly, without us realizing, it has become an addiction. We tend to naturally go to this fantasy life as a form of escape from the present moment. We are actually resisting the present moment. For the simple reason, the present moment is not how we want it to be. Therefore, we tend to escape in this whole fantasy life that we have in our head. Our present moment doesn't match up to who we are or who we want to be. And this gap between our reality and our fantasy, between our present moment and our thoughts, is causing us to be stuck, to suffer in the real life. Although some of you may think that you need this fantasy life as a form of escape, to make you feel better, to escape from the boredom, or even to run away from whatever serious issues you're fa facing in your life right now, it is precisely because you are using it as a form of escape that is causing you so much suffering without you even realizing. Because when you have this escape, you will never face your negative emotions head on and they will be trapped in your body and as a result, in your real life, you tend to face the same issues over and over again. You tend to be stuck in certain areas in your life you tend to be in a loop and you're, you'll find that some of your dreams may not manifest and will remain unmanifested as long as you don't face these negative emotions head on and transmute them you'll continue to be unhappy and unsatisfied in your real life Because you are unable to transmute or to transcend the negative emotions that you are constantly having, like you are constantly living in anger, in grief, in the emotions of lack. And being stuck in these negative emotions is causing your dreams to not manifest, to lead you to attract the same kind of circumstances in your life. So stop resisting the present moment and face it head on. You know that your fantasy life, the life you are living in in your head is just a projection. It is not reality. It is a temporary escape. It is making you suffer in the long run because in the real life you cannot match up to this ultimate identity that you have created for yourself in your head. You can enjoy and accept the present moment as it is through resting as awareness. You will be able to transcend the areas in your life that you're stuck in through resting as awareness. Your life will improve as you remain in the present moment resting as awareness. Thank you for watching.